I'm going to ask each of you here and watching the video to picture yourself in two different situations. First, imagine that you're walking down a path in a forest. You're surrounded by tall trees. You hear birds chirping. You hear a river flowing in the distance. And you even see a squirrel cross by in front of you and climb up a tree. Next, imagine that you're walking down the sidewalk in the downtown core of a city. You're surrounded by tall buildings. You hear music coming from a cafe. And you see and hear traffic pass you by. Now imagine most, most of you are feeling quite different in these two situations. And in fact, this isn't just an assumption I have, but it's based on research that finds that when people are exposed to nature, they tend to be happier, more trusting, and more generous towards others. Fortunately, the vast majority of this research has only focused or conceptualized nature as being pleasant, when in fact, living in Canada, we all know that sometimes it can be less than that. So if you think about the weather, or natural disasters, or natural predators, weather can be unpleasant, threatening, and aversive at times. So this is where my research comes in. I wanted to see if these beneficial effects of nature generalize to when um, it's more unpleasant, or the negative aspects of nature as well. So to do this, I recruited undergraduate students from Carleton and I had them watch a video. Each of them were two minutes in length of either a natural environment or a built environment. And I also manipulated the pleasantness of these videos so they could be pleasant or unpleasant. And I found that regardless of pleasantness, people who watch the nature videos distributed resources in a more pro-social or less selfish and individualistic manner than those who watch the built videos. In other words, nature exposure led people to be more caring and have more concern for others. Now, I think this research has important implications. First, climate change is expected to increase the number of extreme weather events. How we deal with this as individuals, communities, and societies will become an increasingly relevant question that needs to be answered. Second, the results of my study seem to support some of the stats we see after there's a natural disaster with people donating money, time, and effort towards people in their communities maybe, or people across the world, anonymous strangers in countries that they've never been to before, and countries that they'll probably never go to in their lifetime, but they feel this motivation to help. Lastly, I think this research has important policy implications. For the first time in human history, the majority of the people in the world are living in urban areas instead of rural areas, and this is just expected to increase. So creating and maintaining green spaces within cities and making sure that access to nature is available to all citizens would be a really wise decision based on this research for government officials to do to improve psychological, physical, and social well-being. In conclusion, I'm happy to report that we can, in fact, be naturally nice. Thank you.